This is Dora Michelle from Makeup or Breakup Blog, and today I am going to be trying out a new concealer. And this one is from Maybelline, and this is their Superstay Concealer. You can see that there. I already opened it just to see what it looks like. But that's the packaging right there. And this says it's supposed to last up to 24 hours. So I don't know if I'm going to wear this for 24 hours. But this is, again, their Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage 24-Hour Under Eye Concealer. And they try to show a picture down here of how things look before, that you kind of see the bag, and after, where you don't see the bag. Okay. Up to 24-hour wear, huh? That's a big claim. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Let me pull it out here for you to kind of show how the wand looks there. And this is the packaging. Hmm. Okay, so it's in a squeezy tube, which has pros and cons. Pros in the fact that I could basically squeeze out all the product that's in here so I won't have too much of a waste issue involved. Because with a pump, you do run into that risk that there might be some product left behind. Um, the other half is, unlike the pump, which is a little neater, and maybe a little more sanitary in a way, this can get messy and might go, you know, a little bit all over the place. So there's a little less control with the squeezy tube in a way. But I'm not gonna hate it, I'm gonna try it. Okay. I wonder if I should shake this first. If it's gonna shake, but I don't really hear anything. Let's see, it opens like this. Ooh. And that's the wand right there. So it's a little flat on either side, but not completely. You see the product on it? Okay, I've added a bit of primer to my face. So I'm just gonna go in now with this. And just, okay, this is a little bit, maybe I misjudged, you know, the seasons are changing. So what may have worked for me two weeks ago or as little as two weeks ago, may not work for me now. It feels more like a summer color, but now I'll make it work. So it goes on very creamy, uh, a little on the thin side. I'm gonna see, do I see a noticeable difference? I do. I do notice a bit of a difference. Do I feel like there's full on coverage on this or maybe it's buildable? Let's see. I'm gonna put a little bit more just to see. Let's see. I'm just putting this on with no foundation under it. I'm just putting this on straight. Just to see. And again, it blends very nicely. It does. I have no complaints on the blendability factor. Um, the distribution is nice. I just, I don't know. I'm kind of expressing doubt that this will last 24 hours in place. I mean, I would be fine if it just lasted in place for 10 hours. Because that's like a typical work day. But I don't know. I mean, it's... It's creamy, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. Hmm. But as far as coverage, I mean, and you know, I have pigmentation under my eyes, but not as deep dark as, you know, some other people do. I don't know if this is gonna provide that kind of coverage for them. I mean, for me, I'm like, mm, okay, you know. It's not blowing me away, but it's okay. And now I'm gonna add my Super Stay Stick Foundation. I, I'm really starting to love sticks. See, and this one is mighty light, but it's perfect because the weather is changing. My skin is getting lighter. The skin color, so this won't be as jarring as let's say I was doing this in the middle of you know August. I'm just gonna blend that baby in and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I've blended in the stick, which is a little 
it's getting there. This, this is in the shade 110, which might be still a little too, but you see where the concealer is, which is a little deeper under here. Mm. I think I'm gonna go back in with the stick. It could simply be that it's, you know, my summer color as opposed to the winter color. So it's, I don't see the coverage as much as I would like and it's not brightening. So I probably should have gotten a lighter shade. So I'm just gonna go back in here and apply the stick foundation that I just used under to see if maybe that will help it a little bit. You know, just because, I'm sorry about the noise outside. And it does provide a little bit more, but I think I might have to make a trip back and get something a bit brighter than this. Even though this kind of matches my skin, I think I need something a little bit brighter. Okay, and we're done. Okay, so I frankly figured out what 25 is. On the actual box itself, it reads medium. So I'm either a fair light or a light medium around there, but uh, I think next time I'm either gonna choose light medium or fair. So this is the Maybelline website. Here's the brand right here. Um, the color selection could have some improvement. I mean, they do have a deeper scale, but it's kind of simple. It looks like about maybe, maybe 12 shades altogether at this point. So it could be a little more diverse. Um, the price for this baby is $9.99 US on the Maybelline website. Now I'm gonna read a little description about what it says. It says your Superstay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer is a lightweight full coverage liquid concealer. Now I do, degree, I do agree that it is a lightweight concealer. I don't feel it heavy on the eyelids. As far as full coverage, no, because even with the darker one, I kinda still see, and I've applied it twice, I still see some shadow there. It should be completely blank if it's really full coverage. This makeup bag essential provides a lasting transformation for the under eye area. Again, I'm not sure I'm gonna be wearing this for 24 hours, but I probably will post something on my Insta later in the day to show where it's at. Benefits, no matter what's on your agenda, look to super stay full coverage under eye concealer to transform the look of your tired eyes. Again, when in doubt, go a lighter shade. Um, this full coverage yet lightweight concealer features a precise paddle applicator, which it does, that effort effortlessly glides the formula onto the skin for a smooth, seamless finish. Our under eye concealer is waterproof. Oh, there you go. Transfer and smudge resistant. What? And lasts for up to 24 hours. And then it tells you how to apply. They even say you can use the applicator and then for step two to blend with your fingers, which I did not do. Hmm, maybe that's the key. Um, let's see what the ingredient list looks like. I will attach it somewhere here so you can see the first ingredient off the bat that I can tell is water. Aqua, water, okay. All right, I'm gonna see if there's any um, other thing. There is talc in here, but it's like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tenth ingredient in probably. Good to know. So you can find the uh, Super Stay. I believe they do sell it at Ulta. They also sell it, well, actually, I don't know about Ulta, but they do sell it at Target. That's where I think I got this one from. And they sell it, obviously, on their Maybelline.com website. Okay, so I'll probably see you in a few hours, and I'll post it on my Insta stories, just so you can tell. And if you're not following me on Instagram, it, please do. It's makeup or breakup blogger, one word, and I'll post the lettering there. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know, have you tried the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour concealer? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button. And even better, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you will know my next video will be up. Thank you so much for watching me. This again is Dawn Michelle and this is Makeup or Breakup Blog. I will see you on my next video adventure. Take care.